Hello, I'm James Curry with the Communications Department here at MCHD, and I'm talking to Meredith Gardner about National Breastfeeding Awareness Month that takes place every year in August. And Meredith is a lactation consultant with us here at MCHD. So Meredith, can you give us a little bit of details about what you do with that job? Um, yes, so we have um, WIC peer counselors here and those are our breastfeeding um, moms that we've had on the WIC program in the past. And they call our moms, hopefully starting during pregnancy, to try to give them breastfeeding encouragement and information. And then if moms choose to breastfeed, they are also a great source of support so we can try to help moms meet their breastfeeding goals. And then if there's anything that they feel like they can't help them with, then they can refer all the moms on from any of our WIC clinics in Mobile to me, and they do have access to me for more breastfeeding information, education, and um, well, before COVID, we, um, I would definitely meet with moms, but we are trying to work out a way to possibly do um, Zoom meetings or things like that with moms too, if they are still needing additional help. So you're, uh, you're still helping them, but it's over the phone right now. Yes, right now, definitely, I take all phone calls, which I do all the time anyway, but um, right now, of course, that is more of what, what we're doing. And uh, I know this is not your first rodeo with uh, doing this, so how many years have you been doing this? Um, I have been a lactation consultant for um, the county for 10 years now. 10 years last year was my anniversary, so I've um, been doing this for a little while now. So you have probably, in your 10-year career, you have heard a whole bunch of rumors and myths as to why a mom can't do this. So can you dispel a couple of the most common ones you've heard? Um, some of the most common ones that we hear, we do hear occasionally that moms feel like they do not eat well enough to breastfeed. Um, and of course, that is not true. Mom's milk will make the same no matter what she eats. We do encourage mom to eat healthy because that is the best thing for her body and for her health. But um, it is okay for us to have days where we are on the go and on the run and don't always eat perfect because our milk is going to make the same no matter what we do and what we eat and so it is okay for those moms to to have that you know um, worry it's pretty common to hear but it is not true and um, another big one that we do hear a lot is that if moms work they can't continue to breastfeed but we have a lot of moms that do um, work breastfeeding into their lifestyle and their routine whether they pump when they're at work and they do not use any formula whether they uh, just nurse when they're at home and use formula when they're at work. Um, so there's lots of ways for moms that work to also continue to breastfeed their babies. Yeah, it sounds like every obstacle that there is, you've helped someone overcome that obstacle to be able to get to that point. That's good. Um, so, uh, you know, you've met with uh, moms and expectant moms. You've talked to them. Um, can you give them a little bit of your background? You're a mom yourself, so maybe something to, you know, yes. tell people a little bit about your background. Um, I do have a 12-year-old daughter, and I did fully breastfeed her, and I also came back to work full-time and pumped, and so it's definitely doable. Um, it can be a little work, but with just a little, you know, adjusting here and there sometimes and figuring out what works you know, best for your job and for you. Um, it's definitely, you know, something that can be worked out, um, whether it's also, you know, trying to build up the milk supply to go back to work, things like that, that, you know, we can definitely work with moms all through. And I have done it, so I, I know it is definitely doable. And um, it was something that I felt that could keep me connected to my baby, even though I had to be away. So it was definitely something that helped me be back at work full time too. So um, that is something that, you know, I took, you know, once I had her that I came back and said, I want to become a lactation consultant because there's just not enough help out there. Um, it sounds like, you know, you've had, uh, I had some questions here written down that I wanted to make sure that I asked you. Um, 
you know, it sounds like you've got obviously an answer for every one of the questions and one of the myths, or let's just say sort of, okay. Uh, I'm sure there's probably been some questions that you've had to consult with other people about. Um, any experiences, um, you know, really kind of stick out in those 10 years that, um, you know, would be significant for, a, you know, a good story to tell about Breastfeeding Awareness Month? Um, let's see. You know, we definitely have moms that I, I have, will say all the time that, they didn't know anybody else that really breastfed. So, you know, them getting the calls from the peer counselors or being able to come into WIC or call me, you know, at WIC, um, whether it's just a phone, you know, consult or they come in to see me, that that is what really kept them breastfeeding. And so the peer counseling program, as well as, you know, just having a lactation consultant on staff has really impacted our breastfeeding rates. And so that is, you know, definitely um, something that I hear a few times from moms is that if they didn't have us, that they would have stopped. So that's definitely um, something that I, I've heard a few times and we're very proud of, and we're very glad that we're here and can help these moms. Well, it, uh, it also sounds like that breast milk is the obvious nutritional choice for the baby too, right? Yes, breast milk is easier to digest because it is human milk. So um, babies can get the nutrition that they need from it more readily um, and don't need as much of it as they would formula because their bodies can break it down and get what they need easier. So that is definitely a perk as well as the antibodies to cold, flus, ear infections, things that um, mom has had and, and been exposed to that she passes on to her baby through her breast milk. So they do get a little boost with their immune system as well, which also is, is a great benefit from that breast milk. That, that's a good point. Um, you know, I did a little research here, and th those were some of the things that I had read about it, so I'm glad that you mentioned those things. Um, you said you're trying to figure out a way to maybe do some video conferencing, but if someone needs to get in touch with you now, could you uh, share your phone number? Definitely. If anybody needs to get in touch with me at any time, whether it's to try to schedule something, you know, a Zoom appointment or, or just to talk on the phone, my number is 251-690-8986. All right, thank you. And your name again is Meredith Gardner. You are a lactation consultant here with us at MCHD and you're available five days a week. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot. Anything else you'd like to say about um, National Breastfeeding Awareness Month? Yeah, that we just, you know, keep trying, you know, every year to just make sure that we're reaching more and more moms so we can, you know, help get the word out there about how great breastfeeding is. Well, great. Thank you for your time, Meredith, and uh, we're very thankful for you and your services here at the Health Department. Thank you.